right, welcome to the Don Don Show, or Don John Show, but it's going to be John Don Show today because I'm the one doing the review. My lazy ass partner is sleeping. But besides all that, <clears throat> we're going to get into this. Now, first thing I'm going to say is I'm going to try to avoid spoilers, but, you know, I could forget something and just say it along the way, so if, so if you're worried about spoilers, just leave. <clears throat> now, the biggest issue I have with this game is the long distance boring ass motherfucking horse driving. Carriage driving all the way across the map. Bravo on the beauty of the scenery. But this, this, this right here is ridiculous. Okay? It should not take anybody from here. I'm sorry. I haven't even been down here yet. So I'm guessing it goes to here. All the way over here. Okay? Either way, from here to here is 16 minutes real time. It, there's no reason. There's no reason. First two hours of the game, trudging through the snow. Now, if people were worried about <laughs> exciting, you know, gunplay and all that, yeah, there's plenty of shooting, for sure. But there's going to be a lot of walking. Now, I've already finished the main story. <clears throat> so I skipped a lot of side quests. I'm going to do a couple that are still on the map here. I heard some are locked out when you have a bounty or something, so I'm going to try to clear those. Um, I'll show you a little bit of gameplay as I'm talking about the game. So until we get situated here, let's decide where we're going to go. Alright, our race. Seems the closest one. Let's try this out. Alright, I'm going to drive most of my driving in cinematic view because I'm not holding the button any more than I have to. And for those of you who don't know and are playing the game, see how it maybe stop right here in cinematic view, right? Oh. <laughs> I worry. I worry sometimes about what the game wants me to do. Okay. So. I'm gonna hold the X button. Hit the cinematic camera. Let go of the X button. Wham. Auto drive. Alright. Story is wonderful. I. Don't know quite what they were going for with Arthur. Arthur has got a okay character development, but everything feels like it's rushed. Very, very, very rushed. As, especially with um, the whole gang thing. The, the only thing that's not rushed is the walking. It's gonna be a, like I said, there's a lot of walking. A lot of this is what you're seeing right now. now. If I tap the X button a little bit, I can pick up space. Now, the problem with this is you, you can't trust where you're going. You could run into somebody, you could crash into a rock, you could get robbed, anything like that, so you have to pay attention while you're doing it. In case you guys want to take up for a pee break and just keep it moving. The economy system in the game is a little off. I'm, I see there's things to buy, but you're going to be sitting on a lot of money for no reason. And I'm telling you right now, do not get attached to your horse at least for the beginning of the story with Arthur do not get attached to your horse no yeah see look I didn't do anything see the lady over here going down I'm ignoring that there's gonna be a lot of side things that pop up I find this like that now the Random NPC stuff is, is hilarious. I've seen people get kicked by their horse. I've seen people drug away. I've seen uh, I've gotten robbed and my horse knocked the guy off. Uh, there's all kinds of random things that happen. That's interesting, but it doesn't add to the, the the actual gameplay itself. Like you're not getting any. It's a ha ha moment, and then just okay, move on with your fucking mission. Now look, see, I'm cutting people off and stuff. Now, if I don't end this camera, I could have ran him over and got a wanted thing, and that would have knocked me out of this. So you gotta watch running through the. Just it. They're trying really hard to be realistic, and then at the same time, it takes you eight bullets in a chest to shoot somebody. Doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm gonna keep it moving. Hopefully, we don't run into anybody else.
Now, as you can see, the scenery is beautiful. Look at that. Awesome. Now, Odyssey, on the other hand, is much better. And Odyssey, while you're moving, if you notice, like, trees aren't swaying. Like, you really can't tell if the grass is actually swaying until you stop. Um, in Odyssey and other games I've seen, that as I'm running, things are switching back and forth. This kind of makes everything look real dead. And to me, that's kind of an immersion breaker. You can say hi to that guy, but I'm not going to. You can communicate with NPCs. It's, it's all fun. Uh, in a total, it's a good game. Is it worth $60? Yeah. To me, it's, as my friend Psycho Go said, it's a reskin of Red Dead. A lot of the same areas. Uh, there's actually two towns from Red Dead that are recreated in this. Um, it, just, it just feels like they just want you to experience the environment a little much like I, we're, all, we're all here to play games we want to play the game so let me shoot something let me drive me into a mission it's a very sad story also the, the that uh that fire that tries to keep you going to get to the end is there at some extent but at another place it's just like you kind of know where it's going if you played red dead one so it, it, the, your, your choices don't aren't going to affect it as a whole. They can affect they can affect tiny things throughout the story, but they're not going to you know change dramatic consequences that were in Red Dead One. They're, nothing's going to deter that. Now I'm playing as John now, so that is a little bit of a spoiler. Um. I'd say it's a big spoiler, I guess. <laughs> You're not gonna... That all that time and investment in your character, in Arthur, is null and void. Like, you you know he's going to not be there. <laughs> so all them upgrades and all that money, you know, I just say, if you're gonna play this at the beginning, hoard your shit. Look at that. See that? Look at that. Cinematic mood. Bear just attacked me. Horse knocked me off. Oh lord, we're about to get eaten. They can get pretty rough when you're not paying attention to the cinematic view. Ah. Now where was the horse going is the big question here. That's a little rough. Alright. <laughs> the skinning though. The skinning is really detailed. Almost a little too much. Like you saw how long it took me to skin the bear. Now that see realism is is there. It's just too much. Gotta let that guy eat. And corpses will lay there and they'll decompose slowly. And as, you know, animals will come up and eat it and all them goodies. Huh. So I got here. Looks like the mission disappeared. Hmm. Try to camp it out. Might be a time thing. <coughs> mm. 
big thing is don't skip your side missions because they will disappear all right your story missions will stay there all your yellow ones will stay there make sure you do your way Picture of more greedy coyotes. No, wolves. Wolves. So you're determined to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. Thought I'd be safe, given the wind. Sure. If you manage to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I, I, I'll wait with you for a while. If the thing shows up, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. <laughs> You don't know me very well yet. To me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Marston? Sure. But you've never been eaten. And I threw a lack of trying on their part. Had a bad run in with some once. Some friends of mine saved me. Wolves ain't great fans of man. Don't blink. Futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still, worse things happen at sea. Mm -hmm. 